primordial soup, then we get people. So, because they said we came from primordial soup, here we are, atheists. I've got a can of soup now. Now, we need to imagine, I throw this soup on the floor here, okay? And someone stands on the soup. Is anyone going to say, don't stand on the soup? Whatever you do, don't stand on that soup. The poor soup is, am I going to get arrested if I stand on soup? What do you think? Maybe litter and possibly, yeah, you're right. But if I stand on the soup in my back garden, is anyone going to get upset? They're not, are they? But imagine I put a, a nice person in front of me and I stand on them. Am I going to get arrested? Am I going to get in trouble for standing on you? I am, aren't I? This is my question to the atheists, okay? If we can't stand on soup, if we came from primordial soup, at what point did we gain value, purpose and meaning? Because if I stand on you, I've done something wrong, haven't I? Okay, question number two for the atheists. I'm trying, for those of you going by, for those of you just stopping, I, I want to talk to the atheists. I want to say, why do you believe there's no God? Simple maths lesson now for the atheist, okay? Watch this. What is zero plus zero? Okay, so for the atheist, here's a simple maths question. I'll be a maths teacher for a moment. I've got on the board, what is zero plus zero? Someone shout it out, what is it? Zero. It's zero, good, that 